Chelsea actually uh, September 21st who do you think wins Joshua or Dubois? Dubois I think Joshua will win the fight Absolutely. or knockout knockout when Joshua is going to win because he's got more experience Anthony Joshua put an end to Daniel Dubas decisively this came after Dubas made an insulting remark about Joshua's mother, suggesting that she only supports her son because of the financial benefits Joshua provides. In response, Anthony Joshua fired back, stating that such comments should only be made after Dubois has proven himself in the ring. Joshua made it clear that if Dubois continued to make such disrespectful remarks, he would ensure that when one of his punches lands, it would be a definitive end for DUI's night night. As Joshua would put it naturally, no one would be pleased if their mom was called out. Anyone with a sound mind would likely be furious. After all, that's your mother and not feeling anger in such a situation might suggest something deeper, perhaps a lack of love or connection with her. But for Joshua, his love for his mother is strong and it's completely understandable that he would respond with some fiery words towards Dubois. His reaction shows just how much his mother means to him and why he couldn't let such a comment slide without defending her honor. Du, on the other hand, has crossed a line that should never be crossed. A fight between two boxers should remain solely between them, focused on their skills, strengths, and perhaps even their egos, while it's not uncommon for insults to be exchanged. In the heat of competition, it's an entirely different story when someone who isn't part of the fight gets dragged into the fray Du Bois made a serious misstep by bringing in a fighter's loved ones. He ventured into territory that is not only inappropriate but also degrading. Such behavior detracts from the respect and sportsmanship that should underpin any competitive spirit. Duo clearly made a mistake by taking things too far. And it's something that has no place in the sport. Because of this, Joshua is pouring everything into his preparation for the upcoming battle. He's determined not to let any distraction stand in the way of his victory. This intense motivation has fueled his relentless training regimen, with reports suggesting that he's been pushing himself to the limit, taking only minimal breaks. It's almost unbelievable how hard he's working, training like hell to ensure he's at his absolute best. That's the level of drive Du Bois that has ignited in Joshua. Duo should be prepared for the consequences of his actions because he's facing Joshua, who is more focused and driven than ever before. Joshua is riding a wave of confidence, having strung together four impressive wins, three of which ended in knockout victories against formidable opponents like Hellenius Wallen and Ganu. If he emerges victorious in this upcoming fight, he will secure his place as a three-time world heavyweight champion. This confidence isn't just based on his recent successes, it's also deeply rooted in his assessment of Dubuis as a fighter. Joshua has studied Dubuis in the ring and is convinced that there's nothing Dubuis can bring to the table that will lead to victory when they finally face off for Joshua. This fight is simply another step on his path to greatness, and he's certain that Dubois won't be able to stand in his way. Dubois is a younger and less experienced fighter, but he has already accomplished quite a bit in his career. He secured wins on foreign soil, bounced back from a tough loss against Joe Joyce, and managed to sustain pressure against Gerald Miller last year. He also overcame a highly rated opponent in Philip Hergovich's most recent achievements, demonstrating his resilience and growing skill set. However, the question remains, Will all of this be enough when he steps into the ring against Joshua Dubo has certainly shown he can rise to challenges. But facing a seasoned and confident opponent like Joshua might be an entirely different level of difficulty despite his progress, and the impressive milestones he's reached in this upcoming fight could test Dubba in ways he's never experienced before. Whether his past successes will translate into a victory in this high-stakes match remains to be seen. Joshua says that Dubois' achievements won't be enough after Dubois crossed the line by calling out his mom on live television. Joshua is more determined than ever to ensure that all of Duo's past successes won't stand a chance against the fury he's bringing into the ring. Joshua believes that Dubois won't be able to rely on his accomplishments when facing an opponent fueled by such intense anger. Duo should hope that Joshua's anger doesn't carry over into the fight, because if it does, those achievements might not matter at all. Dua currently holds a record of 212 with an impressive 20 wins by knockout. He is also the reigning IBF belt holder.
having been elevated to full champion status when Alexander Usyk vacated the title. Dua's power has always been touted as his greatest asset, and it's this formidable strength that many believe will be his key weapon against Joshua. Former opponent Gerald Miller echoed this sentiment in an interview with Fight Hub TV, emphasizing that Dubois's knockout power could be the decisive factor in the upcoming showdown. He's fighting Dubois now, and I'm kind of rooting for him if Dubois hits that chin. It's night, and he doesn't have that kind of chin. I think a knockout will come. They both have big punches and can both hit hard. I think Dubois has better durability than AJ, despite many people rooting for DUIs. Joshua remains determined for the fight to go on for him. It doesn't matter what others think about the match or who they believe will come out on top. His focus is solely on proving everyone wrong and showing that he's the one to beat in Joshua's mind. That's how it should be, letting actions in the ring speak louder than predictions or opinions. While Dubois has his share of supporters, there are also those who firmly believe that's how it should be, letting actions in the ring speak louder than predictions or opinions. While Dubois has his share of supporters, there are also those who firmly believe that victory will belong to Joshua. Among them is Martin B., the number one ranked heavyweight contender, whose opinion carries significant weight. B., speaking to Boxing News, predicted that Dubois would buckle under the pressure of Joshua's powerful punches. In his view, Dubo won't be able to withstand the relentless force that Joshua is known to bring into the ring, leading him to quit before the fight reaches its conclusion. Yeah, actually, uh, September 21st, who do you think wins, Joshua or Dubois? Dubois, I think Joshua will win the fight. Absolutely. Or knockout. Knockout when Joshua is going to win because he's got more experience. As a final remark, Coy offered both fighters some advice before their upcoming bout. He stated that regardless of who wins, he expects the winner not to avoid him even though many have labeled him as the most avoided fighter in the division. But Coy made it clear that no matter the outcome, he considers himself the best, and it's time for everyone to accept it. He challenged the winner to face him, insisting that they shouldn't shy away from a match against someone of his caliber. You shocked the American public last night. We all know how good you are. Yeah. Uh, what did you show the world last night? I'm the dangerous man, I'm the beast, I'm the most avoided man in the world, so I show it to everyone. As the match draws closer, several prominent figures in the boxing world have begun sharing their predictions for the fight. Given that this bout is anticipated to be one of the most exciting and high-profile fights ever broadcast on television, it's no surprise that they're eager to weigh in. Ricky Hatton, the renowned two-weight world champion, has expressed that Joshua holds a significant advantage over Dubois due to his agility and the sharpness of his punches. According to Hatton, Joshua's punches are noticeably snappier and more precise compared to Dubo, which he believes will play a crucial role in determining the outcome of the fight. Hatton strongly believes that Joshua's superior speed and technique will be key factors that will lead him to emerge. Victorious. When the match begins, it's the perfect time for this fight. Both of them are in great form. I think AJ's got a little bit more in his armor, he's got a little bit more boxing ability, and he seems to be much looser under Ben Davidson. He's throwing his punches with a lot more snap these days, but ultimately your opinion is what matters most in this debate. Who do you believe will come out on top in this match? I'd love to hear your thoughts and predictions, so please share them in the comments below.